Good afternoon. Uh, hey, I figured I'd reach out and give an update of some of the things that have been going on and kind of get you guys' opinion and thoughts on where I'm going, what I'm doing. As you can see, I have rearranged my office, finally put, uh, you know, put the desk up. Uh, I think that in the last video, the desk was disassembled. Um, actually, my brother made this desk for my first son uh, many years ago. So, actually, it's turning out pretty well. So I, I like it. I kind of appreciate it. Uh, I had somebody tell me that, hey, that other video is not very professional, stuff like that. It's probably true. Again, this is stuff is just kind of informational, getting people's thoughts um, and comments, uh, which, I'm, which I'm interested in. So, just going through some of the stuff. Uh, oil and gas wells. So, uh, I think the last time we talked, I had... Um, so, what I did, I invested a little bit more into the oil and gas wells. Anyway... The main well is being fracked, actually today as we speak, and it should be done today. It started yesterday, it should be done today, and then they're going to circulate it for the next uh, two weeks, and then the oil will should start flowing. Hopefully, the first one I did, or the first one I invested in, was mainly a gas well, and that one did not turn out so well. Um, but I had a credit with the company on that one a little bit, so. I use it to invest potentially in some other wells, but this one is going to be fact. The other ones I have are not very conventional uh, wells, so hopefully this week we're going to we'll be pretty good with that. And then uh, the company has been working on their drilling rig. They have a workover rig. Um, turns out they had to uh, lease a parcel next to the Lot that I invested in uh, because they have a well where they're going to basically put the water in instead of uh, paying the person. Well, the person wanted to sell that property, so the company I invested with, they basically bought the lease. It does have a working well on it, so in theory, I saw a video of it. The, the well is pumping. They put a, uh, they're going to rework that pump. And potentially perforate as well. Right now, it's only like eight to ten barrels a day for this existing um, well. And I try to get up to maybe fifteen with an acid treatment uh, to it and stuff like that. So, anyway, seems like things are moving. There's some investors that came down and put up a significant amount of money to uh, move forward with this uh, fracking project. So that actually turned out really good because otherwise, we're just sitting there. And it may or may not have kind of run through, and it did help fund at least some of those other operations with the rig going, so we can get onto some of these other wells as well. That's kind of where I'm at. And I have been looking at seeing if I can um, potentially pick up other wells where some of these other companies just want to kind of dump off their books for cheap. So I've been looking a little, uh, you know, a couple of YouTube videos on that, looking into that a little bit. Not sure how far I'm going to go with that. Um, I don't tell too many people about that because you know, nothing's transpired on that uh, for the last two years. And I've got a lot of money tied up in that. All right, anyway, that's that. Then my other business, uh, Wastewater Treatment Services, uh, this past several months has been extremely busy. Uh, Corona has not done anything negative to impact my business on that. Uh, pick up some additional cleaning jobs, just moved another one down in Texas. Um, so, so that's going pretty well. Uh, I'm not sure where to go with that. So I had a couple crews that I was working with. Um, you know, it's just what, I, what I'm finding is just extremely hard to trust people. Um, Work's not complicated, but it has to be done right because if you have any problems, you have to drain those tanks, and that is not cheap or convenient and creates a lot of other issues. And you ask, you know, crew members, hey, you got to do it this way, they don't do it, they take shortcuts, you can't leave the site. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that business. It's, it's definitely growing. Um, I 
did get some inquiries recently for uh, a couple of several plants and some interest in having my company do maintenance on those. So it's lucrative um, to keep busy, but it's not really a passion of mine. It's, uh, it's a lot of travel for me. Um, I'd like to either roll it into another company, find another company to buy, that can roll it into that, use some leverage on, on that end. Uh, I'm trying to think of other ways to, to do this. So I'm kind of, not step back from it, but change my role in it um, and have it become more autonomous uh, and run. So that's, that's kind of where I'm at on that. Um, usually the winter slows down a little bit um, because of the Especially in the north, the ponds start to freeze and things like that. So it's a little bit more difficult. So usually people like to get their work done in the, um, you know, in the spring or summer. So we'll see how that uh, goes. Um, I just started marketing it again. I was slowed down for a while just because I was so busy. I didn't have the time to push the marketing side and do the actual work. So once, you, you know, once you're out in the field doing the work, it's actually, you know, you put a lot of time in, especially with the owner, uh, because you want it done right. So you, in, in my case, anyway, I'm, I want to make sure it's done right. So when I leave that job, it's done, get payment, and move on. So that's, that's where the wastewater treatment is. Um, then on the, the rental property, um, that so I have one more property up in Pittsburgh. Uh, I'm going to probably sell to the tenant. Which I guess hopefully start to move forward a little bit. She had to get her credit uh, score up. Um, I have to finish some things to get inspected by the borough. Uh, things like that. So that should be happening this week. As far as the inspection, the inspector should be coming uh, Friday, and hopefully to approve it, and then hopefully close on it in the next couple of weeks. Uh, there'll be a few dollars there. So, you know, I can pay debt down, basically credit cards, I have credit card debt from years past in that rental market up there. Um, or take that, uh, those funds and invest it into some other vehicle, investment vehicle. Yeah, so I, I, I'm I not probably going to do like stock market stuff. Uh, it would be like maybe oil and gas, which is maybe not that great, you know, because I'm probably not the best uh, investor. Um, or there's some other vehicle, but I don't want, you know, 5 6% returns. I want 50%, 80% returns. Um, and I'm still... You know, I still have some time, so it's not like I need the, the money. I can make pretty cheap uh, type of thing. So anyway, just kind of complaining that. And if you guys have some thoughts or ideas uh, about that, again, I welcome those. Um, then I have been, I, I don't know if I talked about this in the other video. I started my basement I did an Airbnb uh, down and it's actually worked out pretty well uh, since February or March, and uh, there's something down in there now that's semi-long-term, last two months, and looks like it's going to maybe pick up next month. Um, so I split that uh, with my son, uh, and he, he was living here, but uh, him and his friend got their own place, um, so he's moved out. And actually, I've been going through the house and kind of, kind of fixing stuff up because what I'm thinking is, I might potentially Airbnb. You know, if I'm traveling a lot still, I might Airbnb this first and second floor um, out, and just try to get that ready. It's not completely finished. Uh, the house, the kitchen needs a lot of work, type of thing. But I think I can try it. For a couple of days and just kind of see what happens, see what the response is. I'll, I'll be honest on the Airbnb listing. And one thing I was thinking also so, what happened in my house 
last October, there was, I, I said this in the other video, um, my daughter had a little party that got out of control, and there was a shooting. So anyway, there's bullet holes throughout this house, and I'm thinking I can use that as uh, make my property unique. So something that in the order of, hey, um, this was a shooting, see how many of the bullet holes you can find uh, type of thing. So I don't know how people will take that, but it probably separates my place from other places. Um, I would assume so that might be a little bit of an advantage. I, I do have a hot tub, and I tried to get that thing going uh, back up. Uh, I'm running a new pump for it. I put in, it, it sounded like crap. The pump is brand new motor. And I uh, heated up, pump ran for like a day and a half or so, and then it, it shut off. So now I kind of figured that out. Maybe reach out to the pump supplier and send that piece of crap back. Or I don't think I got electrically connected incorrectly. Um, anyway, so some, some thoughts on that. Um, but yeah, so possibly Airbnb in this, this other portion of the house, depending on if I've got it. Even if I don't, I can make a few extra dollars. So what I'm thinking is kind of a side hustle. I can use that money to buy furniture, um, and maybe do some other things to the property to fix it up. Long-term goal kind of is actually, I'm looking to try to get a U-Wagon, which would be kind of interesting, just kind of a long shot goal type thing within the next year. Um, I don't know if I'd use that. I, don't, I wouldn't make enough for that, but you know, that coupled with some other things might lead to some additional income on that order. So that's kind of where I'm at. And, and lately, um, I've been thinking about a lot about uh, purpose and you know what gets people up in the morning why do people get up what drives them what's their passion how people find their passion they're able to do it and turn it into profit so i've been thinking about that a lot when you see these things come through you know and you know so i like i watch you know quite a few motivational videos from these guys like gary v tony robbins uh not so much tony robbins i've seen some of his he has some obviously some good information um Grant Cardone, um, and the other guy, there's another guy, it's not really motivational, it's me, Kevin, but anyway, there's, uh, you know, oh, this Rock Thomas, uh, is another, a lot of these guys, they're pushing for their programs kind of thing, and uh, I don't know if that's the right path necessarily for me, um, so I think I need to figure out and I don't know if you can force it, what your purpose is, what your why is. I guess at the end of the day, what is your why? Why do you do what you do? Uh, of course, I got family and kids and stuff like that, but they pretty much moved out. Um, type of thing. They're on their own, doing okay. Uh, while my, my daughter lives with her mom. Uh, type of thing. Um, she, she's still in high school. Um, you know, we have a pretty good relationship. Sometimes it's strained because... Well, anyway, that could be another video uh, type of thing. But, you know, so what's your what's your why? Uh, maybe you guys can comment down in, in the bottom section. What is your why? So I have goals that I want to hit by the end of this year. I think I'm going to hit them. Uh, it's financial, mainly financial. And, and it has to do with wealth. I, I define, I think, maybe I mentioned this in another video, wealth as... Three things, uh, fa family and friends, your health, and the financial uh, side of that. I think if you have those three things, you will be wealthy, basically. So, I don't have a lot of friends. Um, <laughs> I have acquaintances, but uh, not a lot of friends. I think it's just my personal trust issues I have um, with people. And probably I'm probably a difficult person, I think. It probably causes friction and issues and 
things like that. Not a mean person, it's just, um, I don't know. I don't really understand. But anyway, I want to try to keep this video short. So again, if you guys have some comments or thoughts, I would love to hear them. Because I'm trying to basically figure this out and figure out where this is going. And, you know, that's, that's it. All right. Thanks, guys, for watching.